Greetings coders. In this video, we're going to look at implementing classes across multiple files in C++. So in C++, just like in C, we can use include files or .h files and then to define the skeleton of the class that we're going to implement and then filling in the bodies, we can do that in a .cpp file. To access from one to the other, we use the scope resolution operator. So you'll have some sort of class name and then the double colon and then the method signature for the method that you're defining the body of. Let's see what this looks like. We have an example here of a pet can have dog, fish, and cat are all different children of pet. And then each one of those have dot .h and a dot .cpp. Let's look at one of them. Let's look at pet first, and then we'll look at dog. So pet has the pet h and pet cpp. And the pet h will have the class definition with pet, have one field that's protected, the name, and then a public field for display. And then we will define display in pet.cpp. So we would have pet colon colon display and then the functionality or the function body of display. And this is that connection from pet h to pet cpp. Pet cpp does the implementation. As a child of pet, we can also implement dog in dog.h. And so we have class dog extends public pet. The, the public is a standard inheritance that occurs by default. The public keyword's not required. And so this will inherit all public methods and protected methods. And then we add string barky as a new field and then void display override. But we have no, we have the override of the virtual, but we don't have any implementation yet. So in dog.cpp is where we put that implementation. We use the dog colon colon display and then give it different functionality. And that's it for this video.